Hi guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of October reading for you all. October 1st through the 15th reading for Libra. Happy birthday you all. Hope everybody has a great birthday. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. I've been watching the news lately and my thought, my heart, my prayers go out to everyone that's going through nonsense at this moment. We have a lot of um, things going on. I mean, there's hurricanes and floodings and fires and riots and um, my prayers go out to you guys if you're dealing with that or if your family's dealing with that. you all. Let's see what we got. The star card. It's a beautiful card to start with. Six of swords. Queen of pentacles. Knight of swords. Nine of swords. In the strength card. You're clarifying. Page of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. And the Devil. The Thinking Woman. And happy family. It's nice. Meditation brings answers and wait. Maybe it's wait, meditation brings answers. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. You know, there's something going on with this devil and this nine of swords. Possibly even this weight card and meditation brings answers. It makes me feel like that for some of you guys, um, you may be in a predicament that you have no control over, that you um, feel like you need a change or you need a... Uh, a plan. For some of you guys this is regarding your job, but I do believe that there's something about to come in. Possibly some sort of news, some sort of opportunity, some sort of message that might be coming in that gives you guys a big um, sigh of relief, an acknowledgement of some sort, some sort of um, your hopes and prayers are coming in. Something that you guys can actually uh, realize that when certain things happen and you feel like sometimes it's a bad situation, that you can actually make something better out of that situation. And I do believe that a lot of you guys are waiting and waiting and waiting and have been waiting for some time. It tends to stress you out. 
It tends to make you maybe not sleep good at night, especially if you're going through some sort of a needing a job, for instance, or you're going through some sort of um, floodings or fires or riots in your, in your uh, area. Because I think that some of you all are physically wanting to move away, especially with this Six of Swords. It makes me feel like that you want to travel somewhere or go somewhere different. Now, not all of you guys can do that, obviously. But I do see for some of you guys, um, taking things into your own hands, doing things a little bit differently, possibly. Maybe it's, it's regarding your own business, especially with this Eight of Pentacles. You guys are fantastic at something specific. And it's not just one thing. You guys have a lot of things that you're really, really good at. But there's one thing in particular that you guys are going to be able to uh, lean back on, gain some sort of acknowledgement, possibly financial gain, and it gets you all excited because I feel like that there's going to be uh, some sort of an opportunity that comes in for a lot of you guys. Now this weight card over here makes me feel like that you guys are kind of in limbo right now. You're teeter-tottering. You're not knowing exactly what you need to do and how do you need to do it. But then right under that is meditation brings answers. So here's the thing, you all. You might need to pray. You might need to meditate. You might need to go within to figure out what it is that your inner wisdom and your inner guidance and, and spirit is telling you what to do. When you do that, you're going to feel so much more powerful that your answers and that your decisions are true to what you need and what is good for you. Because a lot of you guys are thinking about your family, this happy family over here. I mean, that's probably the most important thing to you all. So especially if you're going through something right now, you just want to make sure that your family is protected. And just so you know, you're going to have extra strength, I feel like. So if you feel like, man, alive, am I strong enough to deal with this nonsense right now? Am I strong enough to uh, move somewhere different or take a new job or switch careers or even open my own business? Am I strong enough to deal with all of that? Yes, yes, you are. And if you don't feel like you're strong enough, pray and ask for strength, for guidance, for protection. Because you, you will be, uh, you will feel like you're stronger than you have been in quite some time. Because you're moving forward, especially with this Knight of Swords. I mean, this is you and your energy, and this is an action. You're taking action. So it makes me feel like that even though you all might need to wait for just a second, I do feel like you are going to be getting some sort of a message, some sort of information, some sort of contract, uh, an opportunity. Something is coming in for some of you all that is really going to get you excited again. Now, for some of you with this thinking woman, this could go in different directions, of course. This could be someone that um, is an attorney, someone that's helping you, but maybe a teacher. Um, it could go in different directions depending on uh, what you're looking for. Sometimes it's just as simple as reading a book that someone has written. And when you do that, you're going to gain all kinds of acknowledgement or uh, there's going to be powerful words involved in that. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but that's how I feel. You're going to gain some sort of knowledge some sort of information or some sort of advice that's really going to help you out a lot. So if you need it, you may need to go to an attorney or to a teacher or someone that is um, that knows the laws, possibly, that knows how to help you or that has information that will help you. Because I feel like that is really going to bring you guys into a different level and make you guys feel so much better about a certain situation in your life. Then you're not going to feel like you're being held down or being um, threatened, abused, possibly. 
And when I say abused, I don't, uh, I don't really mean physically abused, even though some people can be physically abused. I'm being, I mean being abused like you have no control over what you're doing or your job or your home life in one way or another. And it has, um, it's, it's getting under your skin and it's starting to stress you all out. Some of you guys are getting headaches getting stomach aches, and you're having panic attacks, asthma attacks. You're not sleeping good at night either. If you guys are looking for a job, now might be the time to go ahead and apply for it. If you're looking for a specific contract, now might be the time to start looking for it and, and digging in deeper and getting uh, the information that you need for it. If you're looking to move somewhere, now might be the time to start looking, okay? Now, I do believe that you're going to have to wait for just a second, but I do think that by the end of October, middle to the end of October, things are going to start changing for a lot of you all. But sometimes when I get this wait card, it's a, a blessing wait. <laughs> I know, hold on. I know sometimes you guys don't want to hear me say wait or be patient or, um, you know, but timing is everything, you all. Especially if you're looking for a specific job or a uh, home or something like that or a contract. You have to wait for that to come up, right? So I just want you guys to realize that timing is everything. And sometimes there's something with your name on it that you haven't seen yet or that hasn't come out yet. But when it does, you can jump all over it and you will possibly, more than likely, get that job get that home, get that new contract, whatever it is that you're looking for. And it's really going to make you feel so much better because I have these two cards that make me feel like you are moving forward. And some of you physically moving, but some of you all are um, moving forward into something that is scaring you, but it's seriously going to be awesome when it's all said and done. Okay? Even if you're like, well, I guess I better move to this other state or city or environment or get this other job that I'm not sure about, I think it's going to turn out awesome for you all. Some of you guys may even be working from home, opening your own business. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. Some of you guys may be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. They may be helping you. They may be the ones that's getting under your skin, I'm not sure. But more than likely, I feel like they're helping you. I feel like this is you all taking action and doing something that um, I love this star card you all this just makes me feel like you know you're following your stars down the right path for you and this could bring in this meditation brings answers too because I feel like this is the universe this could be a spirit this could be God that's pointing you in the right direction, even though sometimes it don't feel like it might be the right direction. I feel like it might be. So here's the thing. With this devil and this nine of swords, I feel like that there's something going on for some of you all that's really getting under your skin and that's playing with your mind. Sometimes it's because you have no control over certain situations that's going on and it really makes you feel vulnerable and it makes you feel like um, you're kind of sick and tired of it, you know, especially if you've been going through this for quite some time. So I feel like you guys are about to take action and you're about to move swiftly. You guys are always thinking and you're always putting everything in perspective before you make a move. I do believe that this uh, pinnacles earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, is someone that is helping you or that is um, 
may be a spouse, it may be a, a partner, it may be a business partner, or even a friend, a, a parent. It's someone I feel like may be helping you somehow, some way. If you guys need to, now might be the time to pray and meditate and ask for the things that you're looking for. Because I do believe that there's going to be something that comes out that's really going to make you feel so much better when it's all said and done. But until then, you guys are a little bit nervous about something. You're going to have extra strength. You just need to trust and, and stay determined and believe in your decisions and, and the right way to go. I think with this page, this could be um, a message that comes in or acknowledgement or some sort of news or an opportunity that comes in for some of you all. And with that being said, this could be a child of yours, but it could also be you guys actually um, ready to do something and stand up for what you're wanting and, and push yourself forward of this new job, new career, new business opportunity. If you guys are nervous about it, I think it's going to be fantastic for you in the long run, even though it might make you a little nervous at the beginning. And I do believe that you're worried about your family, but I see some of you guys moving towards something that's going to make you a lot happier, your wishes and dreams and prayers coming true. And then on the other hand, there may be a, a thinking woman involved in this. You may be getting some sort of legal advice, or you may be buying something or something to that extent to where you need contracts or you need some sort of uh, information. Some of you all may be reading a book or doing something to that extent that's giving you some sort of uh, information that, can, uh, that you'll take with you in a longer... Uh, hold on, in a better and more productive kind of way. So if you do need some sort of legal advice or information, you might want to start researching or asking, okay? Because I do see a lot of you guys moving towards these stars, which are, in my mind, meant for you and this is the path you're supposed to take and this is what will make you absolutely thrilled i think for most of you guys by the end of, of october and it could have to do with contracts or jobs or businesses or something to that extent but i think overall and you guys are getting sick of this nonsense but i think that's changing so have faith in and and push yourself to what you want and what you believe in Pray if you need to and ask for certain things that you're looking for um, because I do think that the universe has your back on something specific and I think it's going to turn out fantastic for most of you guys. You're going to be thrilled by it, I believe. I really do. This is a great reading, Libra. I hope everybody has a great birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. Um, if you're looking for a job or a new um, something new in your life, you might want to start researching and looking for it and applying for it right now, okay? Because it might be coming in. You might need to wait for just a minute, but I do think that something is going to be coming in very soon um, in the near future for most of you all. All right. This is your first half of October reading, October 1st through the 15th reading for Libra. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.